Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday market webcast. Okay, real quick on the daily chart. We saw it climbing yesterday. You can see they're trying to, they tried to pull it back a little bit yesterday, a little bit today. Let's just hop right on over to the hourly. There's your nine day, there's your weekly pivot, there's your pre FOMC print price. You can see they're trying to keep the hourly mid band as resistance. It had been trying to be support yesterday afternoon. Um, the break was actually a really nice short at the end of the day um, after what had been a really you know choppy regular session all day. I mean, they ran it up to 3273 pre market and we just kind of fought all through until we hit that, you know, that two, three o'clock hour and they got a nice directional move down, which they promptly retraced all the way back to, you know, back to, you know, 65.75. Um, I got a lot less on a runner than I thought I was going to get there. And then they spent the night trying to hold hourly mid as resistance. 3 a.m. was a nice move down. Um, you know, your, your typical 3 a.m. move down that nobody's awake for. And they're trying to bounce it from there. But what you're seeing is you're seeing lower highs. Low, I'm sorry, lower highs, lower lows. And if they can keep that up, then the target for the bears to be successful has to be closing below the nine day and holding holding the nine days resistance on a multi-day basis. It's the same, same song I sing every day. Nothing the bears does matters at all until they can convert areas on the chart that are meaningful on a closing basis and hold those resistance areas on a multi-day basis. If you do that, then you get a pullback. Then you get to go back to the daily mid band down at 3149. If you don't, then all these dips are buys and we'll keep challenging highs and making higher highs. So it's a very important day for the bears today. Very important day. Or are we going to have a little bit more of a two sided market? Or are we just going to kind of walk stuff back for a day and a half or like a Globex and a half and then take it right back up to the highs and beyond. So that's what I'm looking out for. And, and, and the, and the hinge on that is hourly mid band. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that. Off the open today, volume weighted average price sitting right at you know 46, 47, five minute mid bands there as well. Uh, our proprietary moving average, uh, 4238. Uh, daily pivots 54, and hourly mid band is sitting right about 53. So 46 to 53 is going to be a big deal. All right, that's all I got. Uh, short one today. Not a lot to say. Bears, the bears have to show up. The bears have to show up, and they have to follow through. Bottom line. Um, you can be short, you can take profits, but ultimately if they bounce it and start taking out some of these lower highs, don't fight price, get involved with the trend. That's, you know, typically the best way to go. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. See you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook. And join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.